Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the Apple iPad's battery life is usually amazing. You can get close enough to the numbers which Apple claims, which is all day battery life. But what happens when you push it and perform resource intensive tasks on it, like how you push your Mac or PC? So in today's video, I will measure the battery consumption of the iPad, ranging from simple tasks like browsing, streaming, to complex tasks like online gaming, 4K video editing, and working connected to external monitor and keyboard. I'm using the iPad Pro here guys, but I've tested iPad Air side by side and the numbers seem pretty much the same. So let's get started. First, simple internet browsing, which includes a bit of social media thrown in as well. So I'm not including full length YouTube videos here, but shots from Instagram and TikTok as well. So it's 12.15 and we are getting started with 100% battery life. Let's get on to Instagram and a bit of TikTok, web browsing, and it's been nearly 45 minutes with a lot of social media and a bit of web browsing thrown in, and the battery is at 93%. So that took about 7% of battery life. Just web browsing alone will probably not consume so much battery, but I used short videos as well, so it did consume a little more. I will summarize all of this giving you exactly how many hours you can manage by doing these tasks at the end of the video. So please stay tuned. Also guys, this video took quite a lot to film. So a sub to the channel would be amazing and hit that like button please so you can support me and I can keep making these videos for you. Next, let's do YouTube videos. I'm starting at 1.05 p.m. with 92% battery and let's watch Marcus's review of Apple Vision Pro. Next, another lengthy video about why DC Universe is not doing so well. And it's an hour now of continuous YouTube playback and the battery is now at 81%. So an hour's worth of YouTube video playback consumed 11% battery life. Next, the most common task which we all do on an iPad is stream movies. I'm choosing Netflix and I have picked this movie called Source Code. It's an amazing film. It's about an hour and 33 minutes long and we are starting at 86% battery life. Before I start, the screen brightness is set to 70% and the volume is also set to about 70% as well. And here we go. Let's get started. Wow, what an amazing movie about time loop. This is really one of my favorites. The movie is done and the battery is at 76%. So it consumed exactly 10% battery for a movie which is an hour and a half long. That's really decent there. Now, let me connect a keyboard case via Bluetooth and work on it and see how much battery that takes. I here have the ESR Rebound keyboard case which is an excellent alternative to Apple's Magic Keyboard. It's also on sale at the moment. I'll link it down below if you wish to check it out. So I'm gonna connect that it will offer that same float position as Apple's Magic Keyboard and it also gives you an excellent trackpad support as well. So we are starting at 9.51 with 57% of battery life. Let me do a bit of photo editing here and then I'll type the script of one of my future videos using this. It's really nice having a tactile keyboard that makes such a huge difference on an iPad. And if you're going to do this more frequently, then the bigger 12.9 inch iPad is going to be even better. So it's been half an hour and the battery is now at 50%. So it consumed about 7%, slightly more than if you just use the iPad and type on the on-screen touch keyboard. Okay, now let's push it. I'm going to connect this iPad to an external monitor via a USB-C cable. Turn on stage manager so I can get full screen external monitor support. This is really amazing. Only iPads with M-series chips in them get this support. I also have a mouse and keyboard connected as well, so it's full on laptop mode. Starting at 125 with 88% battery life, let's begin. I really forgot how incredibly amazing this setup is. You get two screens and you can open multiple windows as needed. You can also set the position so at any moment the iPad knows where the monitor is located, like in my case where the monitor is on top so I can move the mouse pointer seamlessly between these two displays. I'll get some music going on as well and then browse the web, do some online shopping and do a bit of emails as well. 
checking IMDb. Wow, Madam Web really has some all-time low reviews. I really wanted this film to be good. So some more shopping. The 10th gen iPad has an insane 120 pounds off here in the UK at the moment from authorized resellers. That is really an amazing deal. I will link it down below if you want to buy yourself an amazing iPad at an incredible price. So we are half an hour in and the battery life is, well, I'll show you on the external monitor, it's at 77%. So half an hour took 11% of battery life with the iPad connected this way. Next time for gaming. Let's do casual gaming first. Starting at 12.30, we are at 92%. Playing Subway Surfers first. It's a nice fun little game here. And on the similar lines, let's play Miraculous. And then Crossy Roads. Wow, this game is so fun. And finishing off with the classic Temple Run. This game is so addictive. We used to play hours on it. So we are half an hour down and the time is 1.03 at the moment and the battery is 82%. So 10%, which is not that bad. Let's move on to a bit more resource intensive game next. I'm using Call of Duty Mobile, which is an online game. Starting at 2.26 and we are at 70% battery life. Let's go. Wow, this game would be so much better playing with a controller. Yes, bam, bam, that's how I roll. God, he's got a jetpack. Okay, jetpack or not, I still won. Let's go again. Wow, I got totally annihilated this time. No, I need to do a comeback. So we'll go again. And there you go. I won. <laughs> so that's about 35 minutes and the battery is at 59%. So it consumed about 11%, which is pretty much similar to what it did with the casual gaming as well. So that's interesting. Next, 4K video editing. I'm going to edit this video, which you're watching right now, using LumaFusion on this iPad. I'll be using my AirPods and Apple Pencil as well. So we are starting at 523 and the battery is at 83%. Here we go. It's already been an hour. I'm almost done with this video. I just have this last part, which I'm filming now to include. So it's 623 and the battery is at 59%. So one hour's worth of 4K video editing consumed about 24% battery life. Yes, guys, 4K video editing does take up a lot of battery. So summarizing the entire battery test for casual web browsing and social media, you'll get like 10 hours of battery life. For watching YouTube videos, you'll get over nine hours. For streaming movies, you're looking at a whopping 15 hours of battery life. Using a keyboard case Bluetooth accessory, will get you about seven hours of battery life. If you're planning to use your iPad connected to an external monitor, along with a keyboard and mouse, you're looking at four and a half hours of battery life. For casual gaming, you're looking at five hours. Bit more resource intensive online gaming, you're looking at similar four to five hours of battery life. And for 4K video editing, you're looking at roughly four hours of battery life. So interesting data here, guys, for reference. I hope it does help, and if it does, do comment down below and let me know. Also, whilst you're there, guys, if you are enjoying my content, a like to this video will be immensely helpful. And once again, please consider subscribing so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.